the grace of Almighty Allah and blessings of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We are here together to pray Salat al Jumu'ah and to learn from commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Holy Quran. Wanada ashabu jannati. People in paradise, in heavens, they called people inmates of hellfire. So three kind of conversation has been mentioned. People of paradise talking to people of hellfire then people of hellfire talking to people of paradise and then Araf people are talking to both of them who are in between them. So after, after our life, even after day of judgment, when the people have gone to paradise Jannat or hellfire Jahannam, they will be able to talk and some of their conversation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Holy Quran. Jannati people, they will talk to Jahannami people. They will say, Anqad wa jadna ma wa'adana rabbuna haqqan. We found Allah's promise true. Haqq. فَهَلْ وَجَدْتُمْ مَا وَعَدَ رَبُّكُمْ حَقَّا Have you found Allah's promise true? Allah's promise was with us. If our belief, if our faith is true and we have good deeds in the world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us eternal and forever life in the heavens and that will be enjoyable and happy life and we are getting this life here in Jannah and because you did not believe in Allah you did not do good deeds and good actions so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised with you about the hellfire and you do not believe. You should know this life will finish here. We will not have any kind of punishment whatever we are doing now. We used to say this, but now have you found Allah's promise true? They will say yes. Yes, Allah's promise was true. فَأَزَّنَ مُؤَزِّنُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ Then they will be caller, herald. He will talk in between and he will say Allah عَلَى الظَّالِمِينَ Allah's curse is on the wrongdoers, on the ظَالِمِينَ Because الَّذِينَ يَسُدُّونَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ They used to stop people from the Allah's way, Allah's path. They used to hinder people from Allah's path. وَيَبْغُونَهَا عِوَجَا They used to look for the crookedness in Muslims and in their faith. No, they are saying wrong. No, they are poor people, they are not enjoying life. These kind of things. Whom will Akhirah the Kafirun? 
and they used, they used to deny the Akhra. They said, no, how we can resurrect, we, we can come into new life after death. After death, our body will be mixed with the soil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already answered their question. After your death, you say Allah is not able to make you life. You, were, you didn't used to be. You did not used to exist. Even in the womb of mother. Who gave you life in the womb of mother? Who gave you life from nothing? So Allah can give you life after death as well. <laughs> and there will be barrier in between them. They will be able to see and talk, but there will be barrier. <laughs> From the heights, there will be people who will recognize them. Oh, these of my relatives are also in Jahannam. These are my friends. They used to play with me. They used to eat with me. They are in from their <coughs> foreheads, from their other things, from their features. They will recognize them. And they will be Araf people. Araf people means that they will be in between heavens and hells. If somebody is If the weight of their good deeds are more, they have done more good deeds in this world, they will be in heavens. But if they are in between 50-50%, they will sometime live in the Araf and then they will go to heavens. So Araf people will talk to them as well. And they will say, oh, Jahannami people, you, you are in Jahannam. And then they will talk to Jannat as well. They will be in between. Jannat and Jahannam, the Araf people will be in between. They will be able to see Jannati people as well. They will say to Jannati people, Wanado ashab al Jannati, an salamun alaykum. Peace be upon you. They will say, Assalamu alaykum to them. Lam yadkhuluha. We at the moment we could not be able to enter heavens. Bahum yet ma'un. But we hope that we will in future. We wish that Allah put us in the heavens. They will not have heavenly enjoyments and blessings. And they will not have punishments as well. So they will have okay life. When they will look at the people of hellfire, they will say, Oh Allah, don't make us with the Zalim people, with the wrongdoers. Then, Manada Ashabu Nari Ashabu Jannat. Help people, the people inmates in the hellfire, they will talk to heavenly people. They will say, An afidu alayna min al ma. They used to be very rich and they used to be proud. Oh, you, you people doing good deeds, praying, giving zakat, <coughs> all these things. You don't concentrate on your business and you could not earn money. They used to be proud of their money, but that time they will say, Anafidu alina milma, can you give us some water? We are very thirsty. You used to be poor, but now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you all the blessings. You have food here, you have water here, you have honey here, you have juice, everything. If you are able to give us some food, please give us some food. 
Over there we used to make fun of you, we used to laugh at you, but now because you are our relatives, you are our friends, they will recognize each other. If some of their friends are, some of their relatives are in the hellfire, they will talk to heavenly people. And they will say that this is haram on kafir people. This is haram on people who did not do good deeds in the world. You made your religion, deen, as funfair. That this is joke. This life of the world is joke. This is not test. You used to say, this is not test. Balaiban and you used, used to think this is a game, this is sport, like playing something. وَغَرَّتْهُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنِيَا And the life of dunya made you in deception, <coughs> you deceive that this is forever, you will not die. If you die, you will be not be resurrected, you will not come into life and you will not be tested in the day of judgment because of your deeds. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will interfere both of their conversation, heavenly people and hellfire people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Now I have forgotten the hellfire people because they have forgotten my meeting. That time you forgotten me, now I'm forgetting you. And you used to deny and refuse my ayat, my signs, ayat of Holy Quran. You used to deny, refuse, and sometimes you you used to believe, but you used, you did not used to follow. Act upon those commandments. I have given all the details that you have been created for this purpose. You have to lead this kind of life. Your faith should be like this. Belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, belief in prophets, belief in angels, day of judgment, all these things and these kind of good deeds you must do. Fasal now with detail I told you in my Holy Quran, in all the scriptures, divine books. But you did not believe, you did not follow, that's why you are here forever. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to follow the teachings of Holy Quran and teachings of Ahadith Mubarakah, Umma Alayna Illa Al-Balakh.